For centuries, we imagined fearsome creatures haunting our seas. Yet now, those monsters loom before us, large as life. They are strange and spectacular. They are nature's ultimate survivors, those which share the octopus's garden. The world's oceans are vast, covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface. For most of our history, they have been a vast shroud of secrecy. What life, we wondered, lurked at its depths. Our imaginations ran wild. A realm reserved for mermaids and sirens was also claimed by sea serpents, leviathans and monsters. In the mind's eye, the mysteries of the deep only grew. In sea shanties and tall tales, strange creatures were conjured. Artists imagined grotesque killers, mythological man-eating octopuses. They were dubbed devil fish, and their powers of destruction were the stuff of legend. Yet no creature born of the imagination could compare with the one we now know. The octopus is among the most remarkable and oddest of animals on Earth. Now into its waters we venture among the living anomalies of the ocean and into the octopus's eight-arm embrace. That fold includes nearly all the world's seas. There are between 150 and 200 known species of octopus. If its domain seems boundless, so do its powers. The octopus is a master of adaptation. Millions of years ago, the octopus hid within an external shell. In an evolutionary milestone, it shed its means of defense to roam unencumbered. That strategy had its price. The octopus developed an elaborate array of features to compensate. Its tentacles are a thousand times more sensitive than the human touch. It tastes with its arms. Its limbs are studded with thousands of supple discs, each pulsing with as many as 10,000 neurons. Their suction is a force to be reckoned with, enabling the octopus to overwhelm the most aggressive prey and elude the most determined predator behind a wall of rocks. Its periscopic vision is nearly as refined as that of a vertebrate. It can detect an object as small as a pinhead a meter away. The octopus is an intelligent creature. It is curious. It ponders, remembers, evaluates. It has earned the nickname the primate of the sea.
It belongs to a group of mollusks called cephalopods, meaning literally head foot. Those eight sprawling arms are one of nature's most wondrous spectacles. The largest of the species is the Pacific giant octopus, inhabiting the western coast of North America. Mature males weigh about 20 kilograms. Arm spans average two and a half meters. One is on record at 272 kilograms and nine and a half meters long. The sac-like mantle houses its internal organs, but it also provides its means of locomotion. After sucking in water, the octopus expels it through a siphon. It has the extraordinary ability to actually jet across the ocean floor and drop on unsuspecting prey. snails, shrimp and other small mollusks are on the menu. Some octopus ceaselessly prowl the reef in search of food. Others rely on lightning ambush, parachuting down and seizing their startled prey with the snap of a tentacle. Once its victim is enveloped, the octopus pierces its shell with a parrot-like beak. Like a snake's fang, the beak delivers a dose of poison, a virulent toxin that disables the prey and breaks down its muscle tissue. Meal in tow, octopuses often retreat to their dens to eat alone. For those creatures who roam the open seas, a chance encounter with an octopus may be their last. Yet they too have unlikely arsenals of their own. The Portuguese man of war inhabits temperate waters worldwide. It appears an innocuous floating mass, but it's one of the ocean's most toxic creatures. For its natural prey, tiny fish, and for unwitting humans, a touch of its tentacles can be torment. A man of war is not a single animal, but a colony of up to a thousand polyps. Each polyp is lined with harpoons that penetrate skin and inject a dose of poison nearly as powerful as that of a cobra. One sting from this tiny predator can kill a human being in a matter of hours. The cone snail usually reserves its barb for fish, sea worms and other mollusks. It thrusts a tiny tooth like a spear into its prey, releasing a neurotoxin. Nature has been kind to those unlucky enough to endure its attack. Its poison takes effect almost immediately.
The flamboyance of the red firefish is a warning to keep away. Its brilliant colouring indicates its lethal venom stocked along its spine. The toadfish has a different defence strategy. It relies on the safety afforded by camouflage. It lies in wait, ever ready to unleash one of the ocean's most highly developed stinging apparatuses. The torpedo ray is a living dynamo. From undercover buried in the seabed, it's capable of springing upon its prey with a powerful electric charge. At up to 220 volts, the shock is enough to knock out an adult human. You may be in for more than a shock if you encounter the graceful stingray. Its tail, equipped with barbed spines, swings like a lethal whip. It's sharp enough to slice through a human leg. The conger eel is a breed apart. It can grow to over two metres in length and attack with a sudden fury. But in the battle for survival, the eel is merely first among equals, for it has found a worthy opponent in the octopus. A crushing jaw is the octopus's last glimpse. But that's not always the outcome. The octopus is a creature accomplished at the art of escape and regeneration as well. Even if it must sacrifice a few limbs in a clash, it's able to recoup its loss. It can simply grow them back. Under stress, octopuses are even known to actually devour their own arms. To make good its retreat, an octopus employs a dazzling strategy. It squirts a blackish ink creating a liquid screen. Confusing attackers, the shadowy blot permits a jet-propelled getaway. The ink also contains a chemical that shuts down the predator's sense of smell. Some scientists believe the cloud actually takes on the shape of a phantom octopus, thoroughly confusing even the most alert enemy. If that doesn't work, the octopus has another trick up its proverbial sleeve. Like a chameleon, it can actually change the colour of its skin to mimic its environment. The transformation is so sophisticated, its flesh even changes texture. Bumps and ridges can appear, and in moments, an octopus can look like a rock on the ocean floor, obscured to the eye, be it fish or human.
here is an animal singularly adept at defense and one whose tactics are just as decisive when the tables are turned. By changing its skin color, it can stun its quarry, mesmerizing it into submission. The octopus has made a virtue of having no skeleton. Soft-bodied and serpentine, it is supple enough to ooze through an opening no bigger than its eyeballs, which are themselves pliable. The octopus's celebrated intelligence is matched by its dexterity. In experimental settings, subjects have been able to reach food bait by opening screw-top jars and getting into cork-stopped bottles. Here in the real world, the temptation will just have to wait until the jar can be investigated in the safety of the octopus's cave. Despite its intelligence, the octopus is usually a sluggish animal. Its blood is a poor carrier of oxygen. In fact, it needs three hearts to stay alive. Unusually, octopuses swim backwards, which can occasionally cause problems. When mating occurs, there is no courtship. The male extends a modified arm and inserts it into the female's mantle cavity. A sperm packet steadily slides down a groove in the arm and enters the female's oviduct. The female then returns to her rocky nesting den to lay up to half a million eggs. They are laced in gossamer strands. Here they will stay, eggs and female, for six months or more. Throughout, the female stands guard, protecting and preserving her brood. In fact, she never even leaves the nesting site to feed herself. Despite her zealous devotion, odds for her hatchlings are low. Less than 1% will survive. The fish, gathering outside the cave, We'll see to that. As for those choice few that somehow endure, they will have to fend for themselves. By the time her eggs hatch, the severely emaciated female dies of starvation. It is the ultimate sacrifice for an animal whose every fibre is turned to the survival of the species. Indeed, the father might not fare any better. Some scientists believe males also die after mating.
evolution has been kind to the octopus, but at what cost? For all its faculties, its lifespan is relatively short, from six months in small species to three years in larger ones. In that short time, a marvel of nature graces its waters with untold revelations. Today, scientists are at last beginning to test these depths and come face to face with the dreaded devil fish of old. finding reveals the lie behind the fears we once harboured. Most octopus pose little threat to human beings. They will bite with their beaks if provoked. Yet a diver can get harmlessly tangled in an octopus's tentacles, lost in the embrace of a curious giant. The time has long passed for the sea to guard its secret. Now, as it relinquishes them to our curiosity, we are no less awed, but perhaps less fearful. In the octopus's garden, we are at long last welcome.